Greetings everybody, welcome back to another video, and I got quite an interesting iPhone here, got an iPhone SE, and it's, um, yes, the first generation, um, and it's a pretty unique one, because, you know, it is not running iOS 9, but it is still running a unique version of iOS 10, so... There we go. We got iOS 10. Um, because even though it is not iOS 9, it's not an early version of iOS 10. So it is running um, iOS 10.0.2. It's just a regular 16 gig um, a black model. Um, but pretty cool um, because it still has the videos app. So which in 10.2 was changed to TV because they had their new TV service in iOS 10.2 in December of 2016. So, um, and I need another, and I did need for a long time, I've been looking for another iPhone SE on iOS 10 for my collection because the only other iOS 10 iPhone SE I have, um, I've had for seven years now, um, I've got it. April of 2017, which I can't believe was seven years ago now. Um, and on 10.3.3, but that iPhone has all the 32-bit apps that got discontinued in iOS 11. So, um, so um, when I got it, it came with 10.1.1, and then I updated it to 10.3.1, which I think was the latest, and then I updated it to... 10.3.3 and then no further. So, um, and, um, which is kind of funny. And I needed a stock iOS 10 one for my collection that I've been looking for for a long time. One finally popped up for about $50. Um, and I couldn't pass it up on it. So I now have a stock iOS 10 iPhone SE on an early version of iOS 10. So, dang, I missed how. I miss iOS 10. iOS 10 was one of my favorite iOS versions because you had the nice, um, simple control center, um, which is pretty cool. You had the nice animations. You could go in and out, in and out. Um, and it was when you still had to press the um, home button or to unlock it, which was quickly changed in... 2017 with the iPhone 10, so, um, with iOS 11, so, so really cool stuff here, and, um, nice wallpapers back then, let's take a look, I did sign in with my Apple ID, um, but I don't have any apps on here yet, um, so I do miss the Jupiter one, which is right here. This is the default one. Pretty cool. Only had 15 to choose from at the time, but they were iconic for sure. So, um, but just a quick on the video, certainly not the most interesting Apple product that I've showed on this channel or iOS device, but Pretty cool to find an original iPhone SE on an early version of iOS 10. So, but until next time, peace out, everybody.